we don't want to go over too much anyway. I uh, want to say good morning to everyone. It is indeed a blessing to be uh, able to uh, be in the house of God, wherever that is. And we know that uh, based on COVID-19, when COVID-19 has shown us that the house of God is not the building. It is in your heart. So it's good to be, uh, for God to be in our hearts uh, where he resides and abides. Amen. So that is the house of God. Giving honor to the great God of our salvation, him who created the heaven and the earth, everything that we see and everything that we don't see. To uh, my fellow yoke women and yoke men in the gospel, my fellow flames of fire uh, uh, that uh, have been called uh, to tell people how they should live. Man, you want to make somebody mad, you tell them uh, when they are wrong and that you are their enemy for life. But those of us who uh, have the heart of God, we appreciate correction. We appreciate someone having the courage and the love uh, to help us uh, get beyond where we are to where we need to be. So we have to tell it no matter what uh, repercussions, no matter what the consequences, we still have to tell the truth. To the officers of the church, uh, to the uh, every auxiliary head and uh, leader of the church, uh, to this uh, waiting uh, congregation out there somewhere. Uh, we just thank God for all the avenues that he has given us in order to make sure that people know, thus saith the Lord. And certainly to my greater friendship family, who by the grace of God has made this possible, that even though we're shut up in the house, we can reach not uh, just those that come to greater friendship, but those beyond Arkansas, beyond the United States, we are just out there. Praise God. So there's no excuse for not knowing the word of God because it is out there. Uh, if you have your Bibles with you, turn to uh, Luke, uh, the second chapter. Amen. We know that uh, this is the uh, season. This is the time of year where the world celebrates uh, the birth of Christ and recognizes uh, the birth of Christ and, 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 and reminds the world uh, of uh, the goodness of God through his son, Jesus Christ. But that's something that we do every day. So Christmas is what? Every day. Uh, Luke second chapter, uh, and I want you to locate uh, the first verse, and then verse four through seven, and then I want you to uh, mark, uh, if you will, we're going to run down to uh, Luke. Uh, that is not right. Amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, we're going to go with it. Uh, Luke uh, 2 uh, and uh, 1, uh, 4 through 7, and we're going to find, we're going to find that other. And I believe it's in the same, uh, it is. I just got it listed wrong. So let's read. Read Luke uh, 1, 4 through 7. And it says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree uh, from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Uh, verse 4. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. Amen. Uh, you had to register where you were of the house of, wherever that would, whatever that was at that time. Verse 5 said, To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Now, this is the Joseph, which is the husband of Mary, uh, who is the mother of Jesus. That's important because Joseph was not the father of Mary. Remember, Jesus was conceived through the power of the God, through the Holy Spirit. Verse 6 says, And it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, accomplished that she should be delivered. She was, man, she was, she was big as a house, waddling from wall to wall. Amen. Uh, and she, but she went on and did what she had to do. Uh, she brought forth her son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Why uh, was he born in a barn? Because, because uh, there was no room in the inn. Amen. Now I want you to follow me uh, to uh, uh, 
I got down here Luke 2 and 2, but this is not right. Uh, 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 but you're familiar with the scripture, so Elohim, if Elohim was here, I could tell Elohim, look it up and, 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 and correct the pastor later. But this is what it says. It says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. Amen. I got Luke 2 and 2, but that's not correct. Uh, but you know, Jesus never quoted scripture. It wasn't divided up. Uh, uh, kind of so. It was. The Old Testament was, but he never went there like that. But what he did say, it is written. I need you to get here and find out where that is written at for you to make sure I'm not lying to you. Amen. Let me read that again. Since you have no reference here, the accurate reference. In my father's house are many mansions, and if there wouldn't, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go, this is Jesus talking, to prepare a place for you. And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. So we, we see two things here going on. Uh, verse 7 says, and she, and she brought forth her son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Why? Because there was no room in the end. I want you to know today that uh, you if you have got to make room for God, if you want God to make room for you. Here, God's son travels to the earth. Come down, they say, through 42 generations. I haven't checked that out, but that's what they say. Came down through many generations. And, 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 and God wrapped him in flesh and sent him into the world. And the angels singing in the sky and celebrating his coming. Uh, uh, peace uh, and joy to all men and goodwill and all these things. To, to the poorest uh, folk uh, uh, got the announcement that the shepherds in the field uh, would rather have been home. But they were in the field doing what they had been called to do. Doing what they had to do in order to live. And, 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 and God told them that you, there's a sign. He's going, you'll find him in the manger. Uh, and the reason you will find him in the manger is because there was no room in the end. I want you to know something. In this world, in this life, we have got to learn how to make room for God uh, if you want God to make room for you. I, I'm telling you, see, see, the room is, 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 is that, is that, let me give you an attention getter here. Sometimes in a house, uh, you, 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 in most times in a house, and oftentimes in a house, you can't put uh, new furniture in, and you can't move furniture around the way it should be, uh, because uh, there's no room. In, in order to make room uh, for new furniture, you've got to get rid of old furniture. In order, listen to me, in order uh, to get more people in the car, uh, you've got to get some folk out of the car. Here's, here's what God is saying. You, you and I have too much in our hearts. That's the room he's talking about. We have too much in our heart, uh, so that, that, and it keeps them from coming into it. So he deals with us on this. If you want, if you, you have got to make room for God if you want God to make room for you. It's amazing to me how we want God to find us a new job. How we want God to, to heal our sick bodies. How we want God to uh, stretch out our finances. How we want God uh, to bless us beyond measure. But all God asks us to do is to uh, read his word daily and allow it to penetrate our hearts and to live out that word in our lives and tell men not only with our mouth but with our behavior that God uh, that Jesus Christ came and lived and died and rose with all power and that's why you and I are able to live with accounting. We might not have a million dollars but whatever we have we have joy and we have peace. Amen. What God is saying, if you want from me, then you got to give me from you. Listen to me. This is not no one-way street where we go to God and tell God what we want. God is saying this is a two-way street. It don't have to be a two-way street. I can make it a one-way street and just do what I want to do with it. But I have given you the privilege of being able to make room in your heart for me through my son's death and resurrection resurrection, so that I can make room for you. Listen to me. If I don't make room for God down here, that mansion that he's talking about up there is not an option for me. If I want a room, if I want a room up there, I've got to give him a room down here. 
Good God Almighty. Let's look at this thing for just a second here. It says here, and it came to pass in those days that went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. I want you to know that as long as you're in this life, you will be taxed with something. The government wants their tax money. And, and then let me tell you, Satan wants his tax on your flesh. What, is, what am I saying? He wants to harass you. He wants to cause you to be depressed. He wants to cause you to lose your joy. He don't want you to have no peace. He don't want you to have no hope. That's a tax. But I want you to know, even though he's coming at you with all those things, I need you to know that Christ was born, that we might be able to move him out and move God and make room and move God in. Here's what uh, Joseph and, and Mary went up to Galilee uh, to, 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 and did what they were supposed to do to be taxed, but his wife was well, well into her pregnancy. But then let me tell you something. What God is saying, he doesn't care what your condition is. He doesn't care where you find yourself. You and I have got to learn how to do what we ought to do in this life in order to make it, knowing that God is with us and no matter how it looks, God is going to make room for us. Why? Because we have made room for God in our lives. And so it was while they were there. The days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room in the inn. I want you to know that, that many of us are this holiday season are strung out on, on, on shopping because there was, we haven't made room for God in our heart to understand what this season is all about. Let me tell you, you see me in the mall and you see me shopping and you see me online and you see me shopping, but don't you get it twisted? I know the reason for the season. And let me tell you, I talk about Jesus in the season. What season is that? Every month, every day, every second. Every thought is a season to talk about Jesus. Now watch this now. And there are many of us who 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 are, are hateful and mean and unforgiving and, 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 and impatient. Why? Because we haven't made room for God in our end. Our end is our, our heart on the inside. Woo! That's the end he's talking about, the inside. And many of us are guilty. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't the, 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 the hotels uh, that, 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 that. That 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 distinct that that uh, discriminated against Christ and Mary and Joseph, uh, but that, that everybody was running to Bethlehem because there was a tax uh, uh, to be made and there was a tax to be paid and and everybody had to go and sign up and pay their taxes and it was just uh, it was like a, a great football game in town. All the hotels filled. Let me tell you something. It, it, it's just like in our heart. It's just like life has filled our hearts with things. So that Christ, when he comes by, when he comes through, he can't get in. Now watch this now. Here's what John tells us. John 14 1 says, uh, let your heart not be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Here's what he's saying. Here's what he said. If you want to make room in your heart for God, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to believe. Ooh if you don't want your heart to be troubled about what you don't have and what you do have this time of the year, you've got to believe in God through his son, Jesus Christ. Why? Because true faith and belief in God are designed to make room for God in your heart. Listen to me. You and I cannot make room in our heart for God except that we believe in him and we have faith in him that causes us to obey him. Obeying is, a, it, listen to me, when, when you get ready to move and you got so much stuff and you're not physically able to do it, uh, what you do is you get you a mover. Ooh someone that has the right equipment, someone that has the knowledge, someone that has the ability to move you from where you are to where you need to be. And the first thing that they come in to do is they come in to empty the house and make room for the next person that's going to come into that dwelling place. This is what God does for us in belief. God's Belief in God and faith in God gives our heart the ability to make room for him. Why? It, by moving out the old and allowing God to come in with the new. Amen. Watch this now. Here's the catch. 
The whole reason that we believe and have faith in God is so that we can attain the love of God in our heart. The love of God is the whole reason that Christ died. Listen to me. John 3, 16 said, says what? For God so loved the world that he, gave, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall have everlasting, eternal life, everlasting life. Now watch this now. Love is what makes room for God in your heart. And you cannot accomplish that love of God except you have belief and faith in Almighty God. Let me tell you something. We need to get past the present. No, hand them out. Do what you do. But don't be wrapped, so wrapped up in, in number two that you forget about number one. Watch this now. It, it got, the love gives us the power to move things in our lives. Amen. And by moving things in our lives, we literally make room for God. Here's what Ephesians 3 and 17 says. That Christ may dwell in our hearts by what? By faith. Just got through saying that. Belief in God enables God, Christ to dwell in our hearts through the power of the Holy Spirit by faith that being rooted and grounded in love. Listen to me. You can't move out unforgiveness except you move in love. Love makes room for God in our hearts. Amen. Listen to me. Now, I know you came to Christ because you needed a house. I know you came to Christ because you lost your job. I know you came to Christ because you thought you were going to die. I know you came to Christ because you, you're disgusted and busted. I know you came to Christ because you went to jail. I know you came to Christ for a lot of reasons, but I want you to know that ultimately the reason that God brought, drew you to him was so that you and I could have faith in him and attain the love that is necessary for, to make room for him in our hearts. 1 Thessalonians 4 9 says, but as touch, listen to me, here's, the, here's where he's proven the most important thing. The only thing that's going to make room in your heart for God is love. But 1 Thessalonians 4 9 says, but as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Well, God is saying this ain't nothing new. We running out buying presents. We running out and hanging lights. We running out decorating Christmas trees. And I got all that stuff and I've been doing all that stuff. But let me tell you, don't get it twisted. I know the reason for the season in my heart. And in my heart, I know that the love of God is the reason for the season. God sent his only, for God so what? Love the world. And so when God saves us, he expects us to love the world. Love the world in the sense that we want to see everybody saved, not love the world in the sense that we want to be part of the world and all that's going on in the world. No, that's what's wrong now. We don't have room in our heart for God because we got Facebook. We spent on spend four and five hours on Facebook like it ain't nothing. Sit up and watch television four and five hours like it ain't nothing. Listen to music four and five hours like it's not nothing. Let me tell you, do what we want to do four and five hours is like it's not nothing. Shop till we drop and can't hardly make it home. We're so tired like it ain't nothing. But when it comes time to read your word, you're, you're, you're worn out and, 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 and you're not feeling it. Why? Because we haven't made room for God in our heart. Listen to me. If you want God to make room for you, you have got to make room for God because you're going somewhere. You're going to have a room somewhere uh, when you leave here. It's either going to be downtown, which is called hell, or it's going to be uptown, which is called heaven. See, see, wherever you're making room, whoever you're making room for down here, is going. that's where you're going to have your room when you get leave here. Woo-wee! If you are full of the world and full of hate and full of racism and full of unforgiveness and full of meanness and full of hormone and full of thieving and full of selfishness and full of all those things that work against the word of God, you shall, you already have a room in hell when you leave here. I don't care what color you are. White folk, you, there's a hell waiting on you when you're not right with God. Black folk, there's a hell waiting on you when you're not waiting... Uh, right with God. Uh, Easterners, there's a hell waiting on you when you're not right with God. Everybody, regardless of their color or your nationality, if you leave here in, in wickedness and in evil, you have a room in hell. But if you leave here with love in your heart, you made room for God while you're here. God has a room up there for you. He's called mansion. And when you look that up real close, that mansion means a room. Sister Gilbert has a room up there somewhere. 
somewhere and I've got a room up there somewhere. I'm down here in this house, but I'm just passing through. This place is not my home. First Thessalonians uh, 4 and 9 says, but it's touching brotherly love. Ye, not, ye need not that I write you. For the preacher's been talking about love ye one another as far back as you can remember. Uh, Luke 2 and 10 says, And indeed, ye do it toward the brethren, talking about love, which are in Macedonia, but we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Here's what, here's what uh, Luke is saying. Luke is saying, when you really make room in your heart, you just don't love those uh, in Little Rock. Ooh Let me break that down for you. When you really love God, you just don't love those in the church that's kin to you. When you really love God, you just don't love those in the church that you get along with. When you really love God, you love everybody in the church. And I know JoJo ain't right, but you ain't right. Woo! Listen to me, Jojo ain't right in your, eye, your eyes, but you're not right in God's eyes. So all of us need to make some more room for God in our lives and in our hearts. Amen. So what God is saying, as, 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 the love, as, as my love grows in you, my love should grow beyond those that you know. My love should be, uh, grow. And my love and you should, you should make room for me so that my love can grow beyond uh, your friends and beyond your family. My love should grow so that you even love your enemies. I'm talking about making room for God so God can make room for us. And uh, verse 11 of uh, Luke 2 and 11 says, that, and that ye study, listen to me, God says when we make room for him in our lives, uh, that, and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business. God said when we make room in our heart for him, we are not busy about this, running around in everybody else's business, and our business just as ragged. They're talking about your neighbor's yard and how he needs to cut his yard, and you have to fight through weeds to get through yours. Woo! I'm talking about making room in your heart so, so you and I can start looking at ourselves and quit looking at somebody else. Watch me here. As long as you're looking at somebody else, listen to me, you don't have to tell me the past ain't no good. What, you, what are you telling me that I don't already know? You don't have to dig up my stuff and throw it in my face. I know my stuff better than you do. That's why I'm saved and sanctified because I don't want to go to hell and have a room down there for the stuff that I know I'm not right with. So now I am saved by grace. Woo-wee! Unmerited favor. I know I'm not right, but the mercy and grace of God has delivered me and made room in his kingdom because I have made room in my heart for his son, Jesus Christ. He said, when you make room, you study to be quiet. You won't run your mouth on people all the time. You'll listen. You'll learn how to listen more than you talk. And not only that, you start doing your own business and stay out of other folks' business. And he says to work with your own hands. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than a lazy Christian. The only thing worse than a lazy Christian is a lazy preacher sitting around thinking about uh, him and his buddies, thinking about how they can get some more money out the church. Get off your backside and get Paul. Listen, Paul said, look here, I'm not dependent upon you. I'm dependent upon God. And God has given me a trade. So I'm going to tell you the truth. That's what's wrong with preachers now. For we don't have no job and we're at the mercy of the church. When, when they say go left, you go left. When they say go right, you go right. Whether it's right or wrong, you do it. Why? Because you're too lazy to get off your tail knowing the church can't support you like that. There are some churches that can do that, but you know you not, can't be supported. Like, get off your tail and quit taking from the church and start giving something to the church. Woo-wee! Uh, somebody say, he mad at preachers. No, I ain't mad at preachers. I just need us to do better, including me. As we command you, he said, get up and do what is right. Amen. Talking about making room for God. How? By, by doing what is right. By, 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 by being, learning how to be quiet and not talking all the time. Let somebody else talk. By, by learning how to mind your own business. Woo-wee! Somebody said, that ain't no Christmas sermon. Every word in the Bible is a Christmas sermon. I beg to differ with you. Now watch this, watch this. He's, for he says, in my father's house uh, uh, are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, ye may be also. Somebody said, well, Christ hadn't came back. That didn't happen yet. Let me tell you something. He's coming back every second of the day. Somebody's dying. 
And when they leave here, they go somewhere. Ooh -wee. And those of us that have made room all about and have learned how to make room in our heart for God, God has already got us a room better than a Marriott, better than uh, the Comfort Inn, uh, better than a Peabody, uh, better than a... Be Ooh, good God Almighty. He has that place waiting for him. Now watch this now. He says so in verse 4 uh, uh, says, And whether I go... I don't know what, 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 what book this is. I messed that up, but it is written. And whether I go, ye know, and ye know the way. And Thomas said, uh, the died in Thomas that had to sin before he believed. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how, how, and, and how can we know the way? And we look at what Jesus said. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to me. But by the Father. What God is saying, listen to me. If you want to make room for God in your heart, you have to go through Jesus Christ. You can't go through uh, 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 Buddha. You can't go through uh, uh, Muhammad. You can't go through Herod Krishna. You have to go through Jesus Christ. You have to make room for him. Because if we make room for anybody else, we have a room somewhere else. And it won't be a mansion in the sky with God. We have to, uh, he says, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Verse 7 says, uh, uh, it is written somewhere in on verse 7, If ye had known me, you should have known my Father. And henceforth ye know me and have seen me. Philip said unto him, Shew us the Father. Uh, and then Jesus said in verse 9, uh, that where it's written somewhere, <laughs> Jesus said unto him, Have I been uh, so long time with you, and yet you uh, 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 not know me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how says thou, uh, show me the Father. Let me tell you something. When we begin to make room in God's word uh, uh, for him in our heart, God will show us the Son. And when we see the Son, uh, the Son is a spitting image of his Father. Ain't nothing like a father having a son that looks just like him. What God is saying is my, it's is, is Jesus is saying, I am love. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am love. I am forgiveness. I am kindness. I am mercy. I am grace. I am all those things that you need to make room for in your heart so that God can make room for you. Uh, why? Because I go to prepare a place for you. What Jesus was saying, you're going to see me die, you, but you're going to see me raised from the grave. He said, what he's telling us, you're going to have to die. If, you, if, if I don't come back before you do, you're going to have to die. But don't get discouraged about that. Just like I died and rose, your death is going to be, the, the body is going to die, but your spirit and your soul is going to go back to him who it came from. And at that time, God's going to check your heart and see if there's any room in it. If, if there was any room in there for him. Because if there's not any room when you leave here, there won't be any room up there. If there's not any room when you leave here, you don't have to worry about a mansion in the sky. If there's not any room for him when you leave. I'm talking, listen to me. I need to talk about white brothers. You, you white folk, you are so racist and so hypocritical, but I can't get upset with you because in my own way, I can't look at you more than I look at me. You got this and I got that, but I'm telling you, I'm making room with my that and you need to make room with your this. Woo! Talking about a free country. Talking about America the great. America is not great. If America is not great in love, if America is not great in forgiveness, if America is not great in treating everybody right, America cannot call greatness shooting down people in the street like dogs. America cannot call greatness giving Put guns to a cop that's a coward in the heart and you put a gun on him, he think he's somebody. That is not greatness. That is cowardice. And God sees you and God is here to take care of you for us. I'm telling all of us, we need to make room in our hearts for God. I'm just going to need a few minutes to close here. Jesus said this. He said, sometimes... In verse 9, we go to church. He told uh, uh, Philip, Philip said, uh, show us the Father. And Jesus said, you've been coming to church a long time and you don't know Genesis 1 and 1. You've been coming to church a long time and you don't, out of all the reading of your Bible, you haven't changed. You've been coming to church a long time and you act and talk just like you did. When you came 30 years ago. Jesus is saying to us. 
Sometimes we are in a church. Sometimes we are in a word. Sometimes in his word. Sometimes we are in the congregation. And there is no change. Why? Because we haven't seen with our heart eyes. We are only seeing with our head eyes. And we can't make room with our head. We have to make room with our heart and in our heart. Luke uh, 2.10 says this. Believe thou that I am the that I am the Father and the Father is in me. Eleven says, Believe me that I am the Father and the Father in me. Or else see God, here's what God is saying in eleven. He said, Believe that I am uh 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 in the Father and, and the Father is in me. And if you don't believe that, believe me for the works I've done. You see me raise the dead, you see me heal leprosy. Which is there still no cure? You listen to me. You you've seen me uh, make the blind to see and make the lame to walk. Listen to me. You've seen you've seen me go from allowing you guys to take twenty five years uh, for polio vaccine and allowing you guys uh, nine years for a flu vaccine vaccine and in nine months I done gave you a COVID nineteen vaccine. You've seen it. If you don't believe me for nothing else, you don't believe that I that I came and lived and died and rose. Believe me for the works I've done. Listen to me. You. Still eating shrimp after all these thousands and thousands and thousands of years. You still eating cattle after all these thousands and thousands and thousands. You still eating greens and black eyed peas and cornbread. And only a God can keep provide for you. If you don't believe me through my, from a word that I say and for the life that I live, at least believe what I do for you. Woo let, let, let what I do for you make room in your heart for me. Amen. Now look here, we're going to come to a close. Amen. Here's where I'm going to go to. He says here, now remember now, you have got to make room for God if you want God to make room for you. If you want the blessings of God, you got to make room for his word to bless your heart. Now watch this. Uh, John 3 and 14 says, as Moses lift up the servant in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. Listen to me, what God is saying, in order to prove and show to you that I am in your heart, you should be lifting me up, not so much with your mouth, with your mouth. We do that. You See, you and I can make our mouth say anything, but boy, our behavior tells the story. So when the, when the words of God that come from our mouth matches our behavior, God said, you are lifting me up. And God says, God said, uh, uh, somewhere in that word is that, 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 uh, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to me. I know you I know you got degrees, and I know you're the president, and I know you're the senator and congressman, and I know you're a pastor, and I know you're a great leader, and I know you got credentials, and I know you got masters and all. God said, but I don't need you to lift that up, because that, that right there is going to be here when you leave. I need you to lift up something that's going to be with you and be here after everything is gone. God said, I be lifted up. If we can take the eye out of us and put the eye on God, we got ourselves something. See, when, when we say I, I, and my, my, uh, we have no room for God in our heart. But when we say uh, lift God up in our hearts and it's all about him, we have made room for God in our hearts. This verse 15 says that whosoever believeth in him, there's that belief again, you and I can't make room in our heart for God unless we believe in God and have faith in God. And we can't have faith and belief in God except the preacher preaches the word to us because faith comes by what? Faith comes by hearing and that of the word of God. Amen. Uh, but that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life for God. So love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now watch this now. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Listen to me. God did not come to tell us how bad we were. God, uh, uh, Jesus, uh, God sent his son to come and show us how good he is. He already knew how bad we were. We already knew how bad we were. God didn't come here for that. He could see that from heaven. We know that. He's put us in there to know right and wrong. But God came to show us how good he is. Pastor Ellen said this morning, when we come to Christ, it's like we've never sinned. Ooh -wee. 
free. Don't you want that kind of room in your heart with no guilt? Don't you want that kind of room in your heart with peace? Whether whether you have a dime in your pocket, joy, whether you have a dime in your pocket, they can call you the nigger word, they can call you the hunky word, they can call you the wet bad word, but when you got room in your heart for God, you may cuss and fuss for a minute, but that word is that room is gonna that word in that room is gonna bring you back and cause you to say once upon a time you used to be just like that. The former thing that you see that you hate used to be just like that, but love, praise God, made room for God for you in heaven because you learned how to make room for God in your heart. Amen. God bless you and we love you. Remember now, you got to make room for God in your heart down here if you want a room in heaven with him up there. God bless you. We love you. Look here. Got a couple things need to run by you now. If you would like to discuss the gift of salvation with someone, write in the comment section on Facebook. Need to talk. That's all we need to do. And someone will give back with you within 24 hours. If you need prayer, just write need prayer. If you if you uh, want to be uh, 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 a member of the church, we're not meeting now, we accept virtually, but if you want to become a man of a greater friendship, just write in, I'm interested, okay? If, if you want salvation, need to talk. If you need prayer, need prayer. And if you uh, are interested in, in being a member of Greater Friendship Christian Church, then just write, I'm interested. Why? Because God sent his son who came and lived and suffered a sinner's death and died and was in the grave for three days. And God raised him on the third day with all power. And because he got up with all power, he has the power to give us to make room in our hearts for him. Amen. You have got to make room for God if you want God to give you that mansion in the sky. God bless you and we love you. Remember now Wednesday night Bible study? 7 o'clock Zoom meeting. If you'd like to be a part of that Zoom meeting, the Bible study, great lessons every Wednesday night. We won't be meeting this Wednesday night. We won't be meeting the following Wednesday night because of the holidays. But uh, just uh, let somebody know in comments that you want to be part of Zoom uh, Bible study. And also, we have Sunday school in Zoom, uh, by Zoom. So, in fact, Sunday school will be going on at 1230 uh, today. Uh, and if you're interested in that, ask them to send you the link because we preach and teach the word. Ella Williams will fire your soul up. Praise God. God bless you and we love you. Remember, you have got to make room for God if you want God to make room for you. God bless you and we love you.